Welcome back to Health Awareness. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking development in the fight against HIV. Imagine a virus engineered to outsmart HIV by stealing its essential proteins. Sounds like science fiction. It's becoming a reality. After promising results in monkeys, scientists are preparing to test this new treatment in a few people with HIV. Researchers have developed a new weapon against HIV, a molecular mimic that invades a cell and steals crucial proteins from the virus. A study published in Science reports that this viral thief effectively prevented HIV from multiplying inside monkeys. The new therapeutic approach will soon be tested in people. Four or five volunteers with HIV will receive HIV will receive a single injection of the engineered virus. This is imminent, said doctor. Leir Weinberger, a virologist at the University of California, San Francisco, who led the study. In a normal HIV infection, the virus enters an immune cell and hijacks the cell's DNA to produce copies of itself. These copies then burst out of the cell, leading to the collapse of the immune system and causing AIDS. For decades, treatments have targeted the virus directly. Some drugs prevent a protein called a protease from activating HIV, while others, like lenacopavir, block the proteins that form the virus's shell. Recently, Researchers reported that injecting lenacapavir every six months can keep the virus at low levels. 20 years ago, Dr. Weinberger took a different approach. Creating an imposter virus that interferes with HIV's life cycle, I was worried that people would dismiss me as a wacko, which was not completely unwarranted doctor. Weinberger recalled, Dr. Weinberger and his team developed what they now call therapeutic interfering particles, or TIPS, which have about half the genetic material of normal HIV. These tips could infect human immune cells in a petri dish and insert their genes into DNA. However, they couldn't get the cells to produce new viruses. When HIV particles were added to a tip-infected cell, tips could replicate. The cell produced protein shells, some filled with HIV genes and others with tip genes. The researchers improved the tip's ability to enter these shells, leading to the release of three times more tips than HIV viruses when the infected cells burst. This advantage is expected to reduce HIV to very low levels quickly. To test this, scientists conducted an experiment on monkeys infected with a primate version of HIV that usually kills them within weeks. They administered a single injection of tips. As predicted, the treatment reduced the virus level by a factor of 10,000, and most monkeys showed no signs of AIDS. They looked healthy in every way we could check. Dr. Weinberger said, Encouraged by these results, Dr. Weinberger and his team are moving forward with human trials. They have recruited volunteers with HIV who are also terminally ill with cancer and other diseases. These volunteers will receive a single injection of tips, and if successful, the trial will expand to include HIV-infected individuals who are not terminally ill. Dr. Weinberger hopes that if tips prove effective, they could offer more protection against AIDS, particularly in poorer countries. Daily doses of proteus inhibitors are too expensive for many people with HIV, and while lencapavir is effective, ensuring adherence to biannual injections can be challenging. The new study suggests that just one shot of tips might keep HIV at low levels permanently, reducing the risk of AIDS and transmission. Asher Leakes, a virologist at Yale University, called the research a significant step forward in the study of cheating viruses, which have been explored for decades but are only recently being developed into medical treatments. Dr. Leakes also noted that this strategy might be applicable to other viruses. However, treatments based on cheating viruses raise new ethical questions. Dr. Weinberger's tips become a permanent part of a patient's DNA, and unexpected side effects might be difficult to reverse. Additionally, there are concerns about the potential spread of tips to others. Dr. Ben Tenover from New York University acknowledged the effectiveness of the HIV tip, but expressed concerns about the world's readiness for such treatments. As the data clearly shows, the HIV tip works. Dr. Never said, I am just not sure the world is ready for it. Stay tuned to Health Awareness for more updates on this exciting development. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed about the latest health breakthroughs. Thanks for watching! If you have not subscribed, you may not see us again, so hit that subscribe button and don't be left out on our next video.